your starting left fielder and voice of the Red Dogs. I am brought to you alongside my favorite co-host, uh, Roy Franceschina, utility player. Uh, Roy, this is the first edition of the Dog Pound in 2017. Happy New Year, Red Dog Nation. It is good to be back on the Dog Pound. I am just ecstatic for what 2017 has to bring to the Red Dogs, Roy. Yeah, it's great to be back. I know uh, we haven't been on air for a while. Um, you know, we miss you guys, um, and I know you hopefully missed us. So um, we're going to get this year started off strong. Um, and, you know, Rick, Rick's going to give you a little a little uh, review of 2016 for us. Yeah, so. uh, you know, we lost a lot of great people uh, in Hollywood in 2016, and uh, the Red Dogs... Uh, well, we lost our season as well, uh, both seasons as a matter of fact. The fall and the summer league of 2016 did not go the Red Dogs way. Uh, we did great in the regular season, absolutely phenomenal. We took care of business there. Uh, but when it got to the playoffs, uh, we, just, we just fell apart. Uh, in the summer 2016 season, we ended up falling short in the championship game. Uh, and then we did the same in the fall league. Losing both championship games really broke the hearts of the Red Dogs. As you can see by the content on the Red Dogs network, there wasn't a lot, folks. Because you know what? The fact of the matter is, uh, we were heartbroken. Uh, we were really heartbroken. And there's no adequate words to tell you the uh, morale level of the Red Dogs. Because it was at an all-time low, Roy. Yeah, if we would have, um, you know, went on air... Um... I don't think we would have got through. So, um, me and Rick just we just we couldn't do it. You know, um, those were two two heartbreaking losses. You know, we were hoping to redeem ourselves um, in the fall season. Um, we fell up short again, and uh, we just we didn't have you know the heart um, to do a show because uh, we were just so upset and we're uh, distraught. distraught. I mean, I. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did not leave my room for three solid weeks after the fall league championship game. Uh, I was I was in a, a dark room and I just sat there reliving those uh, seven innings of hell. Uh, it was it was rough and right. it, it took a while to uh, finally come out and and, and uh, get over it and come back on air. But we are here. We are ready to go. It's a new year, which brings up a new season. And gosh darn it, Roy, I'm really excited for what the Red Dogs have this year. Uh, we're going to go over some roster moves, Scott, uh, because there was a couple over over the uh, over the offseason so far. Uh, the biggest one is starting baseman John Tamino has relocated to Rockford. Uh, for whatever reason, his occupation brought him out there. So looking at it from a standpoint of who's going to be playing first base, uh, it's up for it's up for grabs, really. Um, you got to think that AJ is is kind of the can, guy. Can that... I just stop you there, Rick? Yep. So, um, you know, Tuna made a big life decision um, in this move. He chose, you know, his career and his future for the Red Dogs. So, uh, you know, it's a really tough pill for me to swallow. Um, I love the guy like a brother. Uh, and to see him, you know, move away um, from, you know, myself and, and the team, um, you know, to better himself, you know, that was just, I, I feel like that was just a selfish move, but, <laughs> um, um, you know, he, if he feels that's what's right for him, that's what he's got to do. You know, you got to do what you got to do to pay the bills, I guess, uh, and he felt that it was time to move on to greener pastures, and he elected to uh, leave the Red Dogs clubhouse for uh, for Rockford, so it leaves a big hole over there at first base now. Yeah, it's uh, like like you said. I don't know what uh, Mr. Pickham has in mind um, to fill that huge void um, that B Big Tuna is leaving. So, yeah, uh, like I said, going back to who it can possibly replace the big shoes that Tamino left at first base, you got to think that AJ. Uh, within within the roster that we have, AJ, I would throw in there. Um, 
anyone else at first base. Maybe you, simply for the fact that you're left-handed. I mean, you're not a big guy. You would be a the, small target. I don't have the size. You don't have the glove either. You'd probably have to go out to Dick's to buy one. Yep. Uh, zero. You've played zero innings at first base, correct? Zero. So I'm just going off the fact that you're left-handed. Uh, that, that'd be about it. Um, maybe one of the Ed Twins uh, could play first base. I know they filled in for a couple innings over the uh, Fall League. So maybe one of them can step up and get that big hole at first base. Um, other roster moves is uh, me. I now this is not an actual move per se. However, I have elected to join a, uh, a recreational hockey league. Uh, so right now, that is that has taken my my sole role uh, up until the softball season starts. And then once softball season starts, uh, I'll be no, I'll be you know softball will be my number one sport. But until then, for my off season, I just go out like to play some hockey. Uh, but that will not be affecting my my softball performance whatsoever. Uh, another roster move is Douglas Lammy, the manager. Uh, you know, it was a it was a matter of time before we thought this was going to happen, and I guess uh, President Mr. Pickham decided that after that dreadful 2016 campaign that the Red Dogs had, uh, he has elected no longer to re-sign Douglas Lammy, and uh, we're looking at potentially getting a new manager for the Red Dogs. I know, Roy, you're really excited about that news. Uh, tell us a yeah. little bit how you feel. I mean, obviously, you've seen our shows before. Me and Dougley have um, clashed heads, and, and we had a lot of different philosophies on how the, the team should be run. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've been a public about my displeasure for, uh, for him um, over this past year, and I, I have contemplated leaving this team because it's gotten so bad. Um, but it's good to know that upper management, uh, Mr. Pickham, is, has been listening to what we've been uh, you know, saying. And this is not just me. I've just been the most vocal person on the team about this. Um, that you know, uh, we need a new leader uh, for this team to get this team back on track. And it is not Douglas Lammy. Now, I'll preface this and, and remind you guys that he is simply not re-signing Douglas. So, uh, I guess... Right now, we have no manager until uh, Mr. Pickham decides that, you know, he, he wants to move in a new direction to find somebody new. But until we find someone new, we have no manager right now. Uh, we are managerless. Uh, so we'll see how Mr. Pickham's search goes over the next couple months, and we'll keep you guys updated on the, the manager search. But, uh, you know, Douglas Lammy, you brought us two championships. We really appreciate that. But I think... Uh, I think your time was was done with the Red Dogs, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to see what kind of great managers will will come in here and, and uh, you know ask for this job because it's a premier job, Roy. Managing the Red Dogs is a premier job, especially in the Orland uh, Park Softball League. When you look at the cream of the crop, Red Dogs right there at the top, uh, that's the team you want to coach and manage. Yes, we got a lot of personalities um, on a team, but um, year in and year out, we're always there. Um, right there fighting for that championship and it like like Rick said um, you know it is a top two um, you know level caliber team that you you know any person would love to uh, coach um, in, in this uh, you know professional softball league now the other uh, roster move that we'd like to discuss is once again it's a topic always every year is who will be starting pitching Pitcher for the Red Dogs, you have James Pickham and Mangerson. Uh, both had great regular seasons. However, in the playoffs, both seem to uh, struggle. So it, it's a toss-up of who will pitch start be the starter pitcher of the 2017 Red Dogs. I guess we'll just have to see. We'll go up to training camp. They'll have to compete for the position. And uh, I guess the better pitcher will come out on top, Roy. Yeah, you know, I always had the philosophy, got to go with King James. But uh, King James really stunk it up in, in that uh, postseason. So, you know, the door is open for Mango. Mango's pitched very well uh, consistently in the past. So, um, you know, I feel like whoever our uh, new coach is um, is going to make the right decision for the team. And, uh, you know, if one ends up struggling, we can just plug the other one in, hopefully. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah, and another move happened over uh, the during the softball season or the end of the summer season. I, I honestly can't remember when it happened, uh, but Matthew Zimmer elected to retire, and uh, he is adamant that he is still retired 
So, you know, that's one, one another roster spot that opened up for the Red Dogs is who's going to step up and take uh, Matt Zimmer's role as a utility player. Now, I will preface and say that he is still going to be on the bench with us, uh, but he will not be uh, playing in the field and or taking any at-bats. He said that he would Absolutely. like to remain retired. And Matt Zimmer is it, just one of those glue guys, you know. Um, you love him if he's on your team, and you hate him if you're on the other team. So uh, just having him in the clubhouse, you know, even though he's retired and, and doesn't want to get out there on the field um, anymore, it, it's just a great addition to the uh, ball club, and we just love having him in the, in the clubhouse uh, and on the bench uh, when we go out there uh, on the field. Well, you know what? Yeah, that's a great point to bring up, too. And, and Matt Zimmer would agree with this statement is he is not – uh, he is by far the best player. You know, he knows that his skills might not be the best as compared to, you know, some other people on the team. Uh, but I definitely would agree that he is a guy that's on this team specifically for his his leadership role and his, you know, he's a clubhouse guy. That's what he is. He cracks the jokes. He likes to have fun out there. And Mads Zimmer said it best. The Red Dogs win when we're having fun. Okay? When we're loose. It's not... It's not the other way around. It's not, oh, you know, we're winning and we're having fun. No. When we have fun, we win. And Matt Zimmer makes sure that we're always having fun. And, you know, when you when we have fun, we win games. Uh, you go back to the 2015 year when we won the summer and the fall league. What were we doing? We were, we were just having we were shenanigans. Having fun. Yeah. We were having some shenanigans going on, yeah. you know. Uh, we were just having a ball. Uh, so 2017, I'd say the Red Dogs need to focus on having fun. Before winning games, if we have fun, yep. the wins are going to follow. Simple Absolutely. as that. Simple as that. So I think for, you know, we talk about the 2000, 2017 campaign. I think a New Year's resolution for the Red Dogs this year is... Less, uh, less, less partying, um, you know, staying loose. Just ha having fun. Having fun. Just having fun on softball. Um, and, uh, you know... 2016 okay. was your classic hangover year simple as that we won the 2015 summer and fall league we got a little bit ahead of ourselves and thinking oh you know we're the best team in the league uh no one can beat us you know we got a bit cocky we didn't have as much fun and look what happened do we have any banners for 2016 right yeah a little too serious there we did we did you know what it's time to go back to the roots of what red dog softball is and that's just having fun that's just going out, shooting the shit, and, you know, really enjoying ourselves. So, you know what, guys? We got a lot in store for you for the 2017 campaign. I can't wait to uh, to start this with you guys. And we're going to have a ball this year, right, Roy? As always, it's been a pleasure. We're going to have another episode for you when it comes closer to the summer league. But we'll catch up on any uh, roster updates. Specifically, uh, Douglas, Douglas Land is no longer the manager, so our managerial search. And, and who's going to be first base and starting pitcher. So there's a couple things that, you know, we're going to keep you guys in touch with. But always, Red Dog Nation, keep on barking!